In today's Warzone video, we'll be talking about the Rose skin and whether or not it still gives you an advantage in Warzone. Who am I kidding? It still does. But the point of this video is to show you how it changed from its pre-nerf look and how it gives an advantage over other skins in Season 3. We'll also be going into the new lighting system and I'll explain how that works because it has a lot to do with visibility and also the Rose skin itself. So going back to the start, the Rose nerf was one of the most anticipated features of Season 3. The night before, they released the patch notes, and it says we've adjusted rows in order to improve the operator's readability slash visibility where sources of light are available. So the new season drops, we go to the operator menu, over to rows, and it's still the same exact thing. There's nothing that's actually changed. But apparently, all the changes that have been made are in-game, so I'm going to show you a before and after compilation, along with comparing it to the Milsim skin, as I did in one of my previous videos. This will pretty much be the background of the video while I talk, and you'll get to see how you still have an advantage while using the Rose skin. Now as you watch through this comparison, there's two important things that I have to point out to you. I'm aware that the majority of you are probably watching this video on a mobile device. So with that being said, your screen is a lot smaller, and therefore, don't be surprised if you can't see the Rose skin at all. And then secondly, this was recorded at 60% brightness on an Xbox Series X. So with that being said, your ability to spot a rose skin may vary depending on what resolution you play at and what brightness you play at. So as you can tell already, the rose skin really was not changed since last update. I mean, if anything, it seems a little more reflective, a little more washed out. But this change that I'm talking about has more to do with the new lighting system that they've introduced with this map. You may have already noticed this just by playing during Season 3, but what they've done is they basically added in a dynamic lighting system, turned it up to 11, and now the map plays like a giant chameleon. Where you go inside, everything turns blue. You look outside, the map looks like it's covered in pollen. You go back outside, and then everything turns blue again. So basically what the game is trying to do is it determines whether you're inside or outside, and then it also determines what you're looking at, whether you're looking outside or whether you're looking inside. And then depending on that, it either applies a blue filter on it or a yellow filter. And that's basically how this works. This is the simplest way I can describe it. The reason why I talk about this new lighting system is that it can either help or hurt the rose skin when it comes to visibility. This actually took me a couple of recordings to understand and hopefully you can understand this too. So when you're inside with another operator and you're both in a shaded area, the blue filter gets applied and it becomes difficult to see them. But let's just say that operator sits in the same dark corner and you go outside. You'll notice that when you step into an area of light, the operator just becomes completely bright, super easy to see. I'm guessing the lighting just bounces off of them, but what I know is that they become much easier to see. Again, it's really hard to describe this with words, but I hope these examples show what I'm talking about. It's essentially a reverse card thing, where if you're in a well-lit area yourself, you can see enemies clear. But if you go into a dark area yourself, enemies don't appear as bright and the blue filter gets washed over them. Another issue with the lighting is that there's some corners that completely black you out that were never fixed with this update. And by the way, this isn't a rose issue. This works for every operator. This is the worst example I could find. I'm sure there's more of them on the map. These are the four apartment buildings that are south of Superstore. It appears that on one side of the building, the stairwells are fixed and they're well lit. But when you go to the other side of the building, the stairwells completely black you out. Therefore, this season, I would avoid these buildings as much as possible. Because if you go in there and find someone in one of these corners, you're going to have a bad time. Like I said, if you probably tried to go around the map and find these spots yourself, you'll find a couple. But this has got to be the worst one that I found yet. But going back to the Rose comparisons, I still believe that there's a lot to be done with this skin. Now, I'm not a game developer myself, so forgive me if some of this sounds ignorant, but I think the first thing that could be done is to exempt all skins from this dynamic lighting and basically have a set brightness for every operator. So that no matter if that operator is in a dark corner or a well-lit room, it's going to appear the same every time. There's no inconsistency. Another thing that I'd enjoy is if they removed or toned down the filters that you get once you go inside or outside of a building. Because in my experience over the past week, these filters do get in the way of visibility. For example, the blue filter really doesn't help inside or outside because the rose skin itself is a very dark purple. Another thing that they could do is just make adjustments to the rose skin itself. Adjustments like this have been made before, so it's possible. For example, the clown skin that you see in the store had its face and hair color adjusted. The last option is that they could just simply remove the skin. If it randomly just disappeared one day from the game, I really don't see a lot of people complaining about that. 
And the last thing I have to address with this video before I wrap it up is NVIDIA filters. This is essentially a way for PC players to add sharpness to their game and adjust color correction. The reason why this isn't a large section of the video is that there's no filters that actually help with both indoors and outdoors. This is because the lighting and color changes so drastically going inside and outside, so there's no one size fits all option. However, if you're still looking to apply one, I would recommend checking out either Iceman Isaac's video or JGod's video on filters. I'll link them down in the description if you're just trying to get a quick look. But from my opinion, after looking at all these filter videos, these two have to be the best ones. And with all that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. If you made it this far in the video, let me know what you think about the rose skin. I go through all my comments and I'd love to hear what you think, so feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, one quick shout before I go, if you guys have any questions or want to talk Warzone, you're more than welcome to join our Discord. It's something that we use every day to talk, post memes, and make friends. So if you're interested, the link to join is also in the description. My name is Wetzel, and until next time, peace!